Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel and you're listening to Subhash Chandra. In this video we are going to talk about one of the primary area of piping engineering on which the entire concept of piping engineering was established which is none other than layout designing. So in this video we are going to cover what is layout designing is actually about. Because when I had spoken with few of my friends and colleagues most of them believe that layout designing has nothing to do with piping design so i wanted to have a clear understanding for every one of you that what is the relation between a piping and layout designing in a single note if i want to say piping designing and layout designing has to go hand in hand because the higher responsibility of the layout designing lies with piping design moreover piping design and layout design are interconnected throughout the life cycle of the project that's one of the reason why piping design engineers involved more into layout making but if you go and ask any uh, piping engineers to say more about the piping design most of them would say that piping design is only about developing piping system but that's not true actually saying piping design is more about layout designing because it is the primary activity in piping design because layout designing is the heart of piping design engineering every aspect of piping involves layout designing not only in the middle of the project but throughout the entire cycle of the project now let's understand some of the basics of layout designing in a layman's language layout design is a process of arranging something in order to utilize the given plot and space in a more efficient way basically we have to utilize the space of the plant or utilize the space of the plot in a more efficient way by making it more economical so let's understand this through some examples let's say we have two plan in first plot we are going to arrange the tanks in a random manner so we have arranged the tanks in a random manner so in this way we were able to accommodate three numbers of tanks what if if we are going to plan and arrange it in a plot so we were able to accommodate four tanks this is one of the very simplistic understanding very simplistic example to understand about the layout designing concept if you are able to plan your space you will be able to uh, utilize the space more efficiently let's see another example let's say you wanted to plan for your future expansion you have a plot and in the plot you have already arranged three tanks you can also reserve this plot with another for the future expansion for three more tanks it could be of one tank or it could be of two tanks or it could be of three or more than three as well but when you are making a plot you can also plan your plot in such a way that you have a provision for a uh, future to expand your activity expand your plan or expand your design so this is one of the another aspect of layout design engineering so now let's see how it is going to impact your cost let's say we have a plot and we are uh, having uh, two equipments one is a tank and other one is a pump the yellow box uh, represents the pump and the blue uh, circle represents the tank let's imagine that we wanted to lay a piping from the pump to the tank piping will not be laid on the space right we have to provide some supports so structural supports are provided for piping so structures would not simply stand over the ground we have to provide a civil foundation for all of these structures so civil foundations are generally bigger than the structures because civil foundation is where it holds the entire weight of the structure and as well as the piping so now we have arranged the tank pipes and civil uh, structures and um, uh, foundations so this is the simplistic arrangement of the piping but actually in such arrangements the cost will go very high now i'll show you what is the difference how you can effectively uh, reduce the cost by reducing by planning the layout in such a way to reduce the cost see let's say we have the same plot but we i have brought the pump near to the tank because i just have to meet uh, the process requirement of laying a uh, piping from the pump to the tank so it is always better to have a pump near to the source now i have laid a, pi a piping and the civil and structural i just have to use only 
one structural support and one civil support so it reduces the overall cost not only a piping but it also reduces the civil structure and it reduces the construction activities and uh, you can imagine the amount of time invested if uh, in the previous case if previous case were, were involved so this is not i'm just showing only about the piping civil and structure there are but there are other aspects of uh, uh, savings as well such as uh, electrical cables and instrumentation cables so basically if you plan the design if you plan the layout in such a way that you can effectively use your plot and space you can really cut down your overall cost but actually saying layout designing is not only about the utilization of uh, uh, space it also about uh, to achieve certain technical requirements of uh, process plans because in the process plans there are many requirements are there for operating in equipment on the um, for accessing valves there are many such technical requirements are there for operations and maintenance now i'll show you some of these aspects uh, on which the layout designings are generally made the first one the first and the foremost is the space utilization that we have seen now uh, through some examples and the second important thing is the accessibility accessibility uh, has various um, another uh, the sub aspects which is uh, the roads we should have a uh, proper roads for the vehicle transportation and uh, rail transportation for uh, uh, taking the goods like uh, the finished pro the product needs to be transported to the another country or another cities for the, the rail uh, tracks to be laid inside the plant so if you can plan the layout in such a way that the uh, the separate space for uh, the uh, local transportation and uh, the separate space for the rail entry and exit and the third the point number c is operation and maintenance as well to operate the valves or to operate the um, uh, pumps or to remove the equipment uh, there are lots of um, operation and maintenance requirements needs to be addressed while designing the layout and also for construction activity to install the equipment and to remove the equipment to install piping so construction needs to have the material um, storage space there are so many such things are uh, considered while planning uh, while designing for a layout and very importantly safety exit and entry during the fire case the, the personnel has to um, have a provision to run fast enough to the assembly area uh, to for the uh, to reach out the safe um, area where they can uh, where they can stay away from the fire so these are the a few important uh, the aspects on which the layout is actually designed i'll show you some of the points actually so these are another few points where through which um, on which the layout is actually designed basically reducing the product flow time so the product flow time is nothing but if you have a plot uh, like in a process plant there will be multiple units each unit has some specific role so let's say that your product enters from one location and exits from other location we should plan the entire uh, the flow of the product in such a way that it will not run back and forth it will uh, pass through a minimum passage so that the time of production will be reduced so this is about reducing the product flow time by doing so you will be actually uh, saving the material cost you can reduce the material cost and uh, the another aspect as uh, as we have discussed as we have seen in the previous examples but still i just wanted to show you over here the about the future expansions if you are planning a plot you can have a future space uh, generally uh, 20 to 30 percentage of uh, future space space is uh, uh, planned during any process planning um, uh, layout designing so uh, this is one of the other aspect and uh, the overall cost like when you're planning uh, these many things you will be able to actually cut down the overall cost and uh, mandatory safety regulations such as um, the roads and uh, the green zones where you have to have um, uh, the the plans and ecosystems uh, should be maintained according to the local regulations of the uh, states and countries so these are some of the aspects on which the layout is actually designed uh, more importantly we should understand the magnitude of the work being done in layout design see in layout designing it is not only the piping involved uh, but there are other departments too so that is what i wanted to list down over here 
see the in piping we have to see both the above ground piping and as well as uh, underground piping that is what represented as ug and ag ug stands for underground piping and uh, ag stands for above ground piping and uh, equipments equipments both static equipments which are pressure vessels and rotary equipments which are pumps compressors turbines as well and we should also plan the space for civil and structural supports and electrical even electrical we have underground cables and above ground cables and even for instrumentation and control systems we have underground and above ground above ground cables and the safety precautions environmental and safety occupational safety uh, requirements uh, of layout designing so these many parties say for an example the piping persons from piping and um, the static persons from equipment these many personnel will be involved so layout uh, designing is not a simple activity but the primary role goes to the piping the very major responsibility goes to piping design that's because the piping design has to coordinate with all other uh, departments to collect the inputs to represent that in the drawing because uh, finally the the drawing the basically the layout drawing goes from the piping so that is one of the reason i was uh, emphasizing for right from the beginning that piping has a major role in layout designing let me show you some of the plot, uh, drawings where um, you you be able to understand how it is actually so this is a plot plan plot plan of a particular area in this plot plan you can find the equipments are arranged the roads are placed tower drop areas are addressed pump access are addressed and the pump uh, the compressor house access are addressed uh, exchange tube bundles pulling area so generally this is to give you an understanding about so when you are planning a layout every space every requirement needs to be addressed and layout is actually designed on based based on that actually so now i'll show you the accessibility say for an example if you are planning for uh, installing a valve the valve should be accessible for an operator who is um, uh, approaching the uh, piping so if uh, the valve is not in a position to access uh, then the um, uh, operations cannot be made so you will have as own um, the operation will have their own problem in maintaining the system now i'll show you the underground and the above ground services how these are planned you can see from the pictures uh, how these um, underground and above ground systems are planned see equipments and uh, pipings are placed in between the structural supports in such a way that they are able to utilize uh, the space both for such structural and as well as for piping and the cable trays are also laid in the underground so this is how the entire area not only in the above ground but also in the underground are planned during the layout designing so that is why layout designing is one of the beautiful concept and beautiful um, uh, aspect of engineering to do it from this uh, photo you will be able to see how the equipments are arranged in um, in a structural um, uh, building say for an example most of the uh, equipments are arranged in the uh, ground floor ground floors in a graded area but uh, there is the chemical plants and process plants equipments are arranged in um, structural buildings as well so you will be able to understand how things are planned how electrical cable trays are uh, um, uh, planned and how equipments are placed so how the access ways are designed so this is why i wanted to emphasize why layout uh, designings are uh, far more superior uh, than just making a piping system and piping design engineers have far more higher responsibility in layout designing and finalizing the layout designing as well i hope that this video means will be uh, helpful for you to understand about at least the basics of um, the layout designing if you are able to understand the basics of layout uh, designing and uh, like if you can like this video give me a like and also share with your friends i'll be posting more videos so that uh, it will be helpful for you to understand the basics of piping engineering i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra